This week's episode is proudly sponsored by Texas Roadhouse, where there's legendary food with legendary service. like the old wow. days i miss it and we decide to go to the moon not because it is easy but because it is hard that's john f kennedy yeah, oh, i was gonna say not, <laughs> not abraham lincoln i am uh president ryan <laughs> i'm president john together we are president ryan and john on the couch as always president cara tafoya yes Thank you. <laughs> Again, Sean, and joining us this week, uh, <laughs> President the lovely Annie the Scuffs Guffman. Four score and seven years ago, I was a bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Um, awesome. So this started off as us trying to mess with John. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. And it turns out I was the least committed. To you were the least committed to being <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> it does suck. I'm sorry, guys. I have a spooky video to show you to start the podcast this week. Wait, uh, you want to? We're gonna announce that we're all Abe, Abe Lincoln. You want to go around the? Oh the yeah, here? I'm uh, Abe Lincoln. Okay, I'm Abe Lincoln today. Okay, I'm Abe Lincoln. Okay, go ahead. Annie. I am President Abraham Lincoln. That oh, President. I should have thought of the distinction. That yeah. is uh, the, for the audio listeners. Mm, okay, I'm Abe Lincoln nice. before he was president. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a, very young, very a young Abe. That's very clear. The stove. What is it? The stove top Karen, hat you're or more something? Like Abe Lincoln, if he was a ten puppet. gallon. No, it's not a Ted Gallon hat. <laughs> that's a cowboy. Hat? No, a cowboy no. Hat. Abraham Lincoln, I believe, wore like a stove top a stove hat. pipe hat or something. I'll look it up. Yeah, look Abe it up Lincoln's real quick. Hat. The things that these people come to for this podcast. And he said, I, never I, I could not tell a lie. I did chop down the cherry tree. Yeah, what was that whole thing? You chopped cherry tree. That was George Washington. No, I thought it was Stop Abe jumping around presidents. Stick with the one that he ended was slavery. six four Dang. and then had like an eleven inch hat. That's insane. Yeah, that's I'm not like going to say this is like foreshadowing, but I did seven, watch three. the movie Emancipation like last week. There's which, a by movie the way, called Emancipation. So good. It's what's Will, the what's the foreshadowing? It's about it's about the the war on slavery and Abe okay, Lincoln and, yeah. and and Will Smith is a slave in this whole That's scenario. Right. That's right. And he like escapes and he and he finds out that Abe Lincoln is freeing the slaves. There's like a coalition to f- to free the slaves. The Emancipation is there an Abe Lincoln? Proclamation. And he makes his way all the way to the 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 um what were the, what was the army was it the north the union the north and uh, well they were called different things union. the union Confederate. and he makes his way to the north and like when he makes it there they're like. Uh, you know, black people that are part of the army and like fighting the good fight. And it was really interesting. And that's, I think, what got in my head about Abe Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> like, great guy. <laughs> I just, it, was, it was a great was movie. He it a was great incredibly guy? emotional. No, he, he wasn't a great guy. He gets credited for freeing the slaves, but they it was very much it. like a so that we stop killing each other thing. Yeah. Not He yeah. didn't really care about the slaves as much. I mean, he did, but. Yeah. Yeah. Correct me if I'm if, wrong, DC if girl. Go ahead. You go to the bathroom uh-huh. at the Lincoln Memorial. It's underground, underneath the memorial, and there's like a little museum esque sure. thing with pictures and stuff and sayings of his. And in etched in marble is the saying of his saying, "If I could save, if I could slave all the wow, if I could free all the slaves and save the Union, I would. If I could keep slavery and save the Union, I would. All I care about is saving the Union." Oh no so, way! Yeah, he I literally mean, didn't care about slavery. I would imagine that that boded well with like people on the fence. Like, you know what I mean? Like, sure. it's just a weird thing to be like. I imagine he wasn't the first president to be like, "We should maybe not have slaves." Like, I imagine it was it was an ongoing thing. Like, this is a cut part of Hamilton, but like one of the first things when they were building the Constitution was like, "Should we have slaves in this country?" And they were like. Yes. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, let's do it anyways. Who cares? Well, like America is one of the last countries to get a, like get away so with crazy. slavery and like keep it. Mm-hmm. And finally, they're like, I, and I think that's part of like, part of it, right? It's like to keep it, it's already outdated. Yeah. We might as well continue into the 
to like but moving same forward. problem we have in our country right now is they were making so much money off of it Ugh, that they were crazy. like well let's just keep doing it have you guys kept up at all with any of the um, debates leading up to this presidential election none up? none at all not a single one listen i deep dived last night about some presidential debates happening for the republicans okay how are they <laughs> doing over there it's it's the classic. It's the like talking over each other. When Trump and Ted Cruz started this whole like arguing during debates, mm -hmm. it set a president that president. <laughs> is <laughs> con continuing to this day. Yeah. So, and there's some jabs. There's some jabs. There's one quote, my famous quote by Nikki Kelly, who is, uh, or Nikki Kelsey, who's one of the, whatever the hell her name is. She's one of the Republican nominees, like number two in line after Trump is like the projection. Of okay, sure. Or like odds to get elected. She okay. says to this young guy who's running, she's like, honestly, every time you speak, I like every time I listen to you speak, I get dumber. Oh, <gasps> yeah. In a debate. <laughs> oh, my God. I was like, oh. Wow. So listen, it's going to be an entertaining year as presidential debates. Do you come think up. the debates mm. sway the election as much as they used to back in the day? Because no. now we have the internet, and now we have. But back in the day, it was like the televised debate, like won it for Kennedy, didn't he? Yeah, right? Nixon and Kennedy. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's because they're like, I, oh, he's hot. I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong, obviously, Annie, but I feel like there is a a portion of America that still heavily relies on debates. Well, I look up what their arguments they presented in the debates are. I don't necessarily watch them because I'm like, oh, this is so annoying. Mm -hmm. But, like, I like hearing the jabs. And then his response to her was like, where are your tax records? Oh, and then she wah, was like, wah. you have no foreign policy, and it shows. <gasps> I, Damn. Yeah. And she literally said that. Dang. She goes, in your hands, America will not be safe. <laughs> I was Whoa. like, Dang. Okay. It's a crazy Get thing him. to say. It literally insane. Yeah. I mean, probably uh, true, but. But now she's kind of mean to him, so I was like, Forget you. I don't want you to leave my country. You're mean. Same. Yeah. What All right. Said. Video. Oh, yeah. I got a crazy video to show you guys. Oh, this is video. a throwback as well as kind of spooky. We have a disturbing update to one of the world's oh. most famous viral <gasps> moments. Is it blue and black God. or white and gold? You guys remember this? Uh, yeah. Remember the dress that broke the internet in yeah. 2015? I do. From that simple question, the internet erupted and is now sending tens of millions of Jeez. people around the world into a social media frenzy. Even Taylor Swift weighed in. Mm. The woman who started the debate on Tumblr, Grace Johnston, Tumblr. appeared on Ellen at the time of the hype alongside her husband, Keir, and a friend, Caitlin. So she sent me three photos of three different dresses. <laughs> and um, I said, so which one is it? Which one do you like the best? And she said the third one. I said, oh. The white and gold one. Mm -hmm. And she said, um, no, the blue and black one. And I was like, no, mum, that's white and gold. And if you think it's blue and black, you need to go to the doctors. <laughs> right. Eight years later, Keir Johnston is now accused of trying to murder his wife, Grace. <laughs> she appeared in court pause, last week pause. and is scheduled to appear again for a preliminary hearing no. this week. He is charged with attempted murder, assault, and domestic abuse. Of her? Keir has denied the allegation. <gasps> the pair were married the same year of the dress debate. Oh, how crazy my is that? Gosh. It's not blue and black. If you see blue and black, you're psycho. <laughs> um, you're wrong. No, I well, see all, no Kara, black. Kara, the woman was at the store, sent the picture. She said it's blue and black. The actual dress is blue and black. It's not actually. It was IRL. It's it's actually not. The dress is white and gold. No, it's blue. She literally. No, that's that's the whole thing. No, someone looked up the dress. It is a white and gold dress. No, the, from the horse's mouth. The picture, she saying, the shadows make it look bluish. No, she didn't just get a picture of it. She sent it to, she from sent the, the picture. And the person that got the picture said, oh, white and gold. The woman that was in the store with the dress, IRL, said it was black and, black and blue. I've seen that dress as, maybe people have just made that dress now after to that. Oh, yeah. totally. Both. Absolutely. I, but uh, it drove them, uh, I guess, to, to violence. Literal, Murder. Yeah. Wow. Attempted, Attempted murder. Attempted murder. Attempted murder. Oh, of course. my gosh. Of course. That was the biggest plot twist to that whole. <laughs> yeah, that was so the yeah, last bit was pretty intense. That's the kind yeah. of news I need in my life. That's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> That is wild. What are you, Who what are you working on over there? Oh, it was Annie. Oh. How'd you me? do that? Oh, so my slick. gosh. I, I thought it was losing my mind. <laughs> I, I looked like, over at Doug because I thought it was you. I know. I, I, sounded, I was oh, like. Oh, me, Abe Lincoln? I'm just enjoying a cherry limeade poppy. Yeah, and, and nope. 
They don't sponsor us. So they do sponsor no, me. They definitely don't. My life sponsored you by Poppy. You can for five dollars, I no, guess. Is that you're what sponsoring was? Poppy. No, that's Olipop. Oh, okay. I don't know about it's Poppy. All the same. Poppy. Poppy. Anyway, well, um, that's wild. So like attempted totally murder. Wild. So like he actively tried to kill her. I guess so. I don't. He whacked. Look, it's, you saw the same video that I did. I don't know I, anymore I, information. I don't, I don't know. I anymore. don't promote. Violence, violence, or attempted murder. But but I love to hear about it. <laughs> <True>. Holy hell! <laughs> I really oh. have such an anything to say. Yeah, I wish that is just, crazy. It's getting too real the way you respond to things nowadays. Violence, you mean? Just in general, like the things you say, it doesn't even surprise me anymore. Mm-hmm. No, like, I'm like, and here it comes, and, and it comes. there it was. Here it comes. I'm gonna start writing down predictions of when we talk about things. Well, what what your take's gonna be? Yes, and see if I'm right. Because like this what? is a cup. What was the last couple ones you had where it was like very off the cuff? It was it wasn't get about gas. It was something else. I don't know. But it's always AI related. She usually is like yeah. Or about gas. Robots. It's always yeah. anti technology. Yeah. Oh, absolutely yeah, yeah. anti technology. Well, that I get. I'm with that for sure. Um, down with the mouse. Uh oh. Yeah, I've I. We say this. I've every said time. this from the beginning. You're anti Disney. Anti mouse. Oh. Put the traps. Put out the traps. This week, a big uh, notable moment in history a hundred years since the disney animation studio opened yep. back in 1923 was it on the october 16th it was uh it was that's right yeah. what was yesterday my, so dad's, the 16th? my dad's birthday who knew yeah wow yeah i guess who knew can you imagine like having long. to try to convince people to be like no, no, these these moving pictures, they're really going to be something special. Like, we're going to draw a bunch of pictures and put them together and make a movie. Nobody all... Yeah. Walt, Walt Disney definitely talked like that. No, he didn't. In the, 19, did. in the 1920s, he absolutely did. Pull it up. A movie. <laughs> That's so good. Ah, you there. You there. Yeah, you. So, so the crazy thing about the new short, a short came out. Yes. And now oh, yeah, we know this is, why. This is kind of a circle back to last week. We now were talking we know about why Robin Williams. Robin Williams' daughter on the cutting edge. was all yes. up in arms about AI. We always are. Because they use Robin Williams' voice <gasps> in this short, but. As the genie. Walt as Disney the genie. has six hours well, of he doesn't, he's improv. Well, he doesn't. He's dead. But the Disney company. Disney company. Of Robin Williams. Yeah. So yeah. I'm uh, guessing. So it was, there was no AI Walt involved. Has six hours. Yeah. <laughs> but he, he was I bet buried people with it. Originally, we're probably going to think, like, oh, they're going to fake his voice. And that's why the daughter probably came out. And then he. Kind of sounds like she's just, like, speaking yeah. out. She, nah. I also think she's Don't probably use my dad. You know? Yeah, I'm sure she's still kind of just pissed. <laughs> she's in the 1920s. Yeah. I'd be pissed. I feel like I valid. Well, here's, here's a little tidbit, a little side thing yeah. is that. He had said when Robin Williams agreed to do Aladdin, he oh. said, "That's fine. You can totally. I'll be in this movie. I'll voice the character of the genie, but you can't use my voice in any marketing stuff. Mm-hmm. You can't use it in any Disney marketing. Oh, yes. Oh. And they were like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, totally, for sure. That's fine. And now he's dead. And they're like, Let's use no, it. No, almost immediately they started using it. Well, and he was like, it. He's like, That's fine. I'll never work with Disney again. And that was literally Aladdin, the last thing he ever did. Mm. Yep. Oh, with Disney. That's yep, right. With Disney. Mm hmm. Yep. Oh, so they, they, they blatantly did it in front of him. Though. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Because I, like, was, well, I was wondering if they were it's like, selling. I was wondering if they were going to use like they were using the, the thing like, oh, it's a short. It's not marketing. It's like a move. Like no, a no, movie they're movie. they're very yeah, they're, unapologetic they, they, about it. They destroyed it immediately. Yeah. Nice, uh-huh. nice. But That's so rough. Kind of a cool little. Me and Kara watched it. It's a short. It was cute. It's an ode it to Disney, and it's like everybody leaves the studio for the night, and all the characters come to life out of the paintings, to make, to and they take a family take a portrait. Uh, okay. Pretty adorable. Sweet. This sounds fam- like familiar. Or yes. Maybe it's like it's brand new. Just came out. No, but like that it's same called the vibe. Short. I feel like maybe they did it for like Christmas. Oh or something yeah, when we were for kids. like it oh yeah, House of, like Mouse. House of Mouse. Yeah, Type the park closes beat. and all the characters. Come well, back that's to life. that's the VHS. Actually, the you're thinking of Night at the Museum. <laughs> oh, <laughs> talk, about, talk about Robin Williams. Talk about National Treasure, <sighs> Night at the Museum. No, are you talking about the VHS when they sing dun 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 dun, dun at Haunted Mansion? Oh yeah, the Disney VHS. No oh, idea. Oh, no. Mm. Uh, mm, you guys didn't watch those? No. Speaking of acting legends. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Just read this. Robin and Williams. It's, and it's fresh in my mind, and it's a heartbreak to me because I recently watched the National Treasure movie of, well, the movie that is a National Treasure, 
Miss Congeniality. Okay, yes. you're being intentionally confusing. Love. Yeah. Were you watching National Treasure? <laughs> I was watching a movie. You're that Miss is Congeniality, a you're starring Ms. Sandra Bullock. Yep. And Dula. Michael and Caine. Michael Caine. Michael Caine, Michael Caine nice. announced at 90 years old, just announced today. He's done. He's stepping down from acting. It's probably good for him. Years. Probably good. I mean, Oh really? Kind of thought 90? he was done. You guys, guys guy is a legend. At 90 or guy so is an absolute oh, no, he legend. He is a legend. But so I'm so like close to what? Dying? Michael Caine. Exactly. You might as well die doing what you love. He was Michael. going on a big vacation. Michael. It's always so funny when actors retire. You know what I'm saying? Because I yeah, kind of totally. feel like, what, like no, what does like, it even mean? What were you doing up until this point? Like, right. What was the last thing he was in? Probably. It's such the a Dark gig. Night. I mean, it's obviously now you like see a, me. It's such a gig, like industry. You know, like you just do a gig and that's it. But I'm also like. To retire feels weird. Like retire from gigging. I guess. You think you'll ever retire? Oh no, not from I gigging. Will. No, of course not. Not from gigging. I got a plan. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't say. I said retire, not town. die. We, we have like six no, weeks I left. No, I got a new right? plan. So you've been on a Sandra Bullock. Um, oh yeah, I'm deep craze. in this Sandy B. Yes. Old Sandy B, you know, though not mm. new Sandy B. Not not Blindside. You haven't watched no, Blindside. Not Blindside proposal Oof. and newer. Nah. Except do you like the, the proposal? proposal? The Heat is the one exception I give to that. Yeah, the Heat's I love great. That's, the proposal um, is a great movie. What's that girl's name? Melissa McCarthy. Melissa McCarthy. So good. Wow. Well, good. I just, I'm in this spooky <laughs> well, season. Great. I, I bring it up because last week you were telling me about um, Practical, Practical Magic, Magic which, which I have watched not seen. today as Another well. She treasure. told me. I did watch it today. You watched I've it again? Watched it every single day for the last. It is a great movie. Now, is when it, was it's last time? Great. It's, it's pretty not that great. great. When was last time you watched um, National yeah. Treasure? Now that is a great movie. Oh, I know it. I know it. Don't it's we been know too it. long. Look, we're all presidents. Did you guys ever? Oh, we should. But I haven't seen the second one. Nash- <gasps> oh, spooky. You've never seen National Treasure Book of Se- the President's Book of Secrets? Literally the only Just part that I've seen you is had it it right. in it is when they get like, into I'm gonna the president. Mount Rushmore. <laughs> That's it. Oh, my God. You totally nothing glossed over tops. my Michael Cade, by the way. I know, but nothing Master tops that Nick, Nick Cage. When you do Nick Cage, it's so good. <laughs> Go ahead. Master Wayne. <laughs> Pretty good. Do Nick Cage. Some men just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> awesome. Michael Cade. It's re- really good. Mm. I, I've, I'm announcing today. No. no, you need to go uh, to his right, basically, yeah. I'm announcing. <laughs> Sounds like Mick Jagger. I'm retiring. <laughs> we no. said, all right. Yeah. Yeah. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Oh my gosh, have you been seeing the Harry Potter thing no. on TikTok? What are you talking about? <laughs> the one where it's, no, Ron, no. And yes. It's, a club. Gonna, nah, 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 nah. it's going to sacrifice himself. Yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a trend Classic. for a long time. But right, that there's been like there's while. like these weird animations of them like dancing. Oh yes, oh yeah, I've seen so it. Weird. Classic. Spooky, spooky season. Maybe Practical we pop magic. on a Harry Potter movie tonight. Ooh. I don't know. That'd be great. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Okay. Sounds fun. Never mind. No, I'm in. I'm in. Do you mm, not like Harry Potter? Never mind. No, no I just pass. It's just like scary movie it's season. It's scary movie all. season. <sighs> I mean, we I only those get those one month. Scary. I can't convince you guys to watch a scary movie. All but the month. I'm of October. always down for a scary movie. Well, these guys are oh, yeah. what? for sure. For sure. You okay, what are you talking the... about? You two. These guys. You two. Me. Whenever we try and watch Isn't scary funny? movies, yes. Isn't that funny? I I'm down for a scary movie <laughs> all summer. I'm like, yes, scary movie, and then only October. The rest of the time, I'm kind of like, eh, I'm good. That's what summer I'm saying. Is like this is my time. Summer in October. To get it, like a summer blockbuster Tara, scary movie. I can't believe you're trying to say I don't want to see a scary movie. Yes. I'm always pitching no, a scary movie. No. October came around. And you went oh scary movies, but any other time you're like oh, no, I don't really want to watch a scary movie. She's lost her mind. Name one. You guys, you guys realize. Uh, that, I'll, right? I like I'm gonna stand around. with you, but you got to yeah. name one. I'll stand with. You. I will stand with you, but you got to give me an example. It's just give me an example. It was when we were at the old studio. Oh yeah, go ahead. Oh. It was those nights with the big TV. I always consistently have been down for a scary movie in this group. And this, this group, is what happened. I'm kind of with. I'm kind of with him on that. Mm. Brother I'm against brother. Abe <laughs> <laughs> against Abe. Hey. Not is because it is easy. The Civil War. But because it is hard. And what the podcast world. Awesome. Ugh. Have you ever heard like the conspiracy of all the connections between Kennedy, Kennedy and and Abe Lincoln? No. Oh yeah. Kennedy's oh, it's crazy. There's all these like. Was named Lincoln and Lincoln's secretary was, was named, named Kennedy. Kennedy. Kennedy got shot doing this, and Lincoln got shot doing the that. The person 
Abraham Lincoln was shot in a theater and his killer ran and hid in a warehouse. And it's shot from a warehouse. Kennedy was shot from a warehouse and the guy went and hid in a theater. There's like all these like no crazy way. parallels. There's a whole Wikipedia page about Thank it. Thank you. Lincoln Kennedy Thank coincidence you. is urban legend. Yes. It's just deep, just get down to the the duos. It says the list of coincidences appeared in the mainstream American press in 1964, a year after the assassina- assassination of John F. Kennedy. Well, dial dial up internet back then. It was slow. It took a while. Well, did they catch the list in 1960? Here we go. Here we or go. Come on. Yeah. Are we ready we for the list? Oswald. Oh, that's right. Lincoln that's and Kennedy each have seven letters. Whoa! What what was that? Lincoln and Kennedy both have seven letters. Yeah. Both presidents <sighs> were elected to Congress in. 46 and later to the presidency in 60. <gasps> Both assassins, John Wilkes Booth and, 1946. and Lee Harvey Oswald, were born in 39 and were known by their three names composed of 15 letters. <sighs> Booth ran from a theater and was caught in a warehouse. Yes. Oswald ran from a warehouse and was caught in a theater. <sighs> the assassins were both Southerners. Well, that's not... Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Both of the president's successors were named Johnson and born in 08. Oh, that's weird. Both Lincoln Andrew and Johnson Kennedy and were Lyndon particularly Johnson. Yeah. concerned with civil rights and made their views strongly known. Both presidents were shot in the head on a Friday. Lincoln had a secretary named Kennedy who told him not to go to Ford's Theater. Kennedy had a secretary named Evelyn Lincoln, and she warned him not to go to Dallas. <laughs> both Oswald and Booth were killed before they, they could both be put were on trial. warned by their secretaries. Hey, you probably shouldn't go. They're like, nah, screw you, woman. No, that's the, I, that's the list. I lived like a fifteen minute walk from Ford's Theater when I lived in DC. Nice. You're telling I, me you love it. I went so many times because it was so interesting. They would have a p- little play uh-huh. that was. Um, the assassination of Abe Lincoln. Ford. Isn't that kind of? No, it was Mr. Ford, and it was basically <laughs> his telling of what happened on the theater that day. <laughs> I learned so much Jeez. about the assassination of Lincoln. That was so weird. John Wilkes Booth was like a famous actor at the time. Sure. His brother was in the play. He wasn't even in the play. He gives Mr. Ford a letter that it basically confesses to everything the night before. And it's like, will you mail this for me tomorrow? <sighs> and he goes, sure. He just puts it in his pocket, doesn't say anything. He has like the like mentally handicapped stage hand hold his horse outside. Okay. Doesn't tell him why. He's like, can you hold this? And he's like, oh yeah, sure. So he could like escape with because it. Nobody ever. All the people who were Actually, like in the true. theater besides Mr. Ford and like a couple people who were like, you know, away at the time. Mm-hmm. But like that stage hand got assass- like got hanged. Like basically everyone who was like connected had, with without like knowing we're connected got hung for helping Jeez. him. It was in then. Like, Abraham Lincoln came so late, like an hour and a half late to the theater. Cause it gave. And then who was, <sighs> Ulysses S. Grant was supposed to come with him. And at the last second, he pulled out and, like, some other guy came. And it's like, and they were going to, the idea was he was going to assassinate both of them, Grant and Lincoln. Whoa. Didn't get a chance to. Dang. He was like, well, one out of two ain't bad. <laughs> Crazy. John, John says... No, I was just I was finishing that. <laughs> one out of two he, he probably said one out of two ain't bad. <laughs> Shot Lincoln. That's oh, the whole thing. Oh, okay. he well, walked in and he said, Well, bad. one out of two ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get it. You know, you get you're, it? you're you're on. Sorry, you're right on. Sorry about well, that. Well, what's funny is Is there anything to any of, of that? Like well, I, of Abe Lincoln. Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. Sorry. I'll, I'll let you finish. No, that's good. Ca- on Cats Got Your Terror, uh, yes. the episode that just came out, Kara and I were on. And it was about how Abe Lincoln saw his doppelganger. And then wow, that. that's yes. scary. By the way, go, head on over to uh, the Albright Entertainment YouTube and check out True. the third episode of Cats Got Your Terrors. And hey, while you're over there, check out all the episodes. Episode four just came out this week. Pretty I great stuff. I will say, um, you know, I, I'm biased because we made it together. Yeah. But <laughs> pretty good. We huh? li- I went recently went to Utah to see Queen Bethany Somka and in, in Charlie and Charlie Factory, but. On the way up, we had you know we had six hours. We ended up being nine hours because of traffic, which sucks. <gasps> traffic um, where here oh. in California? Yeah, here. Riverside. And then once we got through you know, Riverside, whatever, right? That's but I, terrible. My I went with my mom and my brother, and my mom was like, "Oh yeah, I know you're you're working on this show. We should listen to it." And what'd you think? And I was like, "Oh yeah," because again, I was there for it, and obviously we rewatch it uh-huh. to to make little edits and stuff. But like. What was best? What the best thing was watching, like listen. We were listening to it, obviously, because we were driving, and 
like listening to my brother and mom react like <gasps> like like <laughs> like that fully happened like they yep. genuinely and yep. Bobby had like a theory about Mothman Bobby had like mm-hmm. googled like these certain type of bats that he thought like wow. might be resembling whatever and he was like texting cat like I think it's this and then we we went we moved on to reincarnation Oh, I listened to the reincarnation, and one. they were both. And I mean, that one's pretty compelling crazy huh? because at the end, it talks about the theory behind reincarnation. Which, if you watch, it, yeah. I don't want to ruin it, but yeah, no spoilers. The theory was cool because both my mom and I were like, "Whoa, I didn't think about that." Like, you you go back, they, like the universe sends you back, so to speak, like crazy to, to learn something else. And then uh, at the time, the you guys' episode had just dropped. And Bobby was laughing so hard at your <laughs> reaction about, about oofing the king of Spain. Like, oh, oh well, yeah. He yeah. was like, what? So out of pocket. So I mean, it was cool to hear people <laughs> react to it because, again, when you're so close to it, and I'm sure you, you experience this oh, too. Oh, yeah, for you're sure. You're so close to it. You're building it. You're making it. And you don't really, like, realize. And then you listen to listen to somebody react to it. You're like, oh, we did, like, a really good thing. Yeah, you know for sure. Because I, I always knew it was good when we were making it. But hearing them go like, <gasps> like literally at some parts, of, and then when they said the Abe Lincoln part, Abe Lincoln part, there was it was a big like, <gasps> what? It that was so that crazy. caught me in the moment. We too, both, we for both sure. were looking at each other like, <gasps> what? <laughs> but cat's got your tear. Anyways, I don't want to go back too far into it, but it was great. I had a friend today <laughs> text me and say, "Hey, are you driving in a black car in OB right now?" <gasps> Whoa! Shut up! And I went, <gasps> No. Somebody Do doppelganged you. You got a doppelganger. And he went, I think so. You're safe as long <laughs> as you don't see it. I know. As long as you don't see your own doppelganger, you're fine. Guys, but I'll be real. Do you want a black car? I'm Is that for why? Mine now. Are you astro projecting into a black car? No, I don't like black cars. Okay, well, then that's. I'm about ready to uh, purchase a cafe trolley, so we got to save really? up for it. Really? Oh. Yeah. How much is the trolley? $75,000. Can I. I don't well, have that. Can I get a small loan? Can I get a small I have loan? If you want it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I got you 18. I'll take for it. You. I can give you <laughs> hope. Okay. Inspirational Dreams. quotes. Okay, thank you. I'll take one of those now. Unlimited laughter. I'll just take mm. one of the quotes. One, what, right now? An inspirational quote. Right, you mean right now? Do you have them or not? Yeah, I do, I do, I do, I do. Let I it rip. Do, I do, I do, I do. Okay, you ready? Are you ready? Are you yeah. ready to be inspired? Still ready. Okay. Inspiration coming in three, two. I can tell she has nothing. Do you think there's anything to the presidential like <laughs> conspiracies? Do you think there's anything oh there? God. I wonder. I also I am fully still fully baffled Hold at on the it. fact that heart. um it took so long for us to develop presidential security like Secret Service. Sure. Because I'm like the forefathers had to believe. I know you have a blurb about this, but let me finish my thought and then I swear you can talk Dude, about Teddy it. Dude, Teddy Roosevelt got shot during a speech and kept going, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's like, boss. he's like, you guys, I just got shot. Can you believe that? That's Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but I just feel like the forefathers, like the founding fathers had to believe that they were building a world superpower. I mean, or maybe they didn't think. No, I don't go. think they did. I think they were like, hey, we're going to build a country. And, you know, if we're around to see it, great. If not, who you lives, know, who dies, who tells your story, I think. Who tells your story, uh, you think? Yeah. I read a whole book on the Secret Service, the Go creation ahead. of the Secret Service. It happened much after JFK, right? Or something like that? Or Abraham no. Lincoln had a meeting about creating the Secret Service. The Are you day making he this died? up? I'm not even freaking kidding. But before, before it was the Secret Service, we He's like, I of. just feel like I'm going to get killed, and there should be somebody watching over. I saw myself in a mirror last night, it was almost and like, he told me to get whoa, Secret Service. Whoa, like for real. It was like, ta- not tax fraud, but it was like the Secret Service was first created to like basically catch counterfeiters. Okay. But uh, he literally had a meeting about starting it, and then like a day later died. No. Dang. Yeah. If Dang. only they had started it that day. That like day. he's like, Isn't "Hey, can I just crazy? have a guy follow me around at least?" Yeah. Watching and then my they're back. Like, just go to the theater with the like, army general. You'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, the and army like, general will take yeah. care of you. And then he's like, "Oh shoot, army general." You need Grant. You're gonna go to the theater with Grant. Do you think you'll be fine? <laughs> so at that point, do you think he would have shot Grant first or Lincoln first? I mean, I think it I don't been think like he would have been able to get both. I kind of feel like you would have had to choose. Somebody would attack. Somebody would have seen that blind spot, right? Because yeah. if they're sitting kind of like, I think nah, you. They were like a, I mean, not that I'm in the mind of no, you know, Wilkes Booth, but I John. feel like you got. I feel like you got to go with with Wait. with Abe first, right? He's the high power. It's a pretty high, pretty high, like jump down. To I the mean, stage. Grant kind of did he jump down? Yeah, from the he stage? jumped down. He broke his leg. That's in the first. It's the first opening scene of National Treasure Two: Book of Secrets. Yeah. Wow. Yep. The assassination, and then he jumps off and he yeah, yells he, something I in Latin. I think you need a history uh-huh. podcast. 
a history podcast? Oh, I'd love that. Because I feel like you know way too many random pieces of information about history. Mm. Growing I Pains of a Nation. <gasps> Thank cut you. That out. Cut that out. They cut yeah. that out. Cut <laughs> it out. Cut <laughs> it out right now. John, cut it out. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Right. Wow. Dang. You're welcome. And it could start with an inspirational quote. Which is? You are only as good as, as you're able to fly as high oh, as you lost your 10-gallon hat is mm. tall. Okay. Mm. I did have Walk a thought me through about the thought costume, process on that one. No, where I'd make my hat super tall so that it just went out of frame. Like Doug Dimmadome? The whole time. Yeah. Honor of the Dimsdale Dimmadome? Like Kara's so Scarecrow good. hat. I'm oh, telling you right now, classic. I watch that episode every once in a while, and I laugh. The whole <laughs> time I was editing it, it would come, it would, it would cut to <laughs> Kara, and I'd be like, "It looks com, it looks like CGI." So good, it's so comic. <laughs> yeah, how large. do these hats fit on everyone's head? Uh, I feel great. Um, pretty poorly. Well, mine's it's a little my, but I got a big noggin, so yeah, mine feels good. Mine you have a different hat. Cool. Mine's a nice one. I feel like yeah. I, can't I have a pea head. I almost splurged. This thing is huge on my oh. head. <laughs> yeah, that is true. We weren't going to talk about your pee head, but now, <laughs> now you brought it, it up. Everybody's talking about <laughs> it. I will the say, pee head, pee head. Ever head. since Ryan pointed out that you look like a marionette puppet, I just can't get it out <laughs> a of A ventriloquist. <laughs> oh, yeah. A he, no, she looks like one of the kids from um, Little Rascals. Yes. Steiny. I got Del. Yeah. I got Del. Yes. Hey, 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 hey. hey. You got Del. Hey, oh, hey, we should watch hey, that. You can't make a reference. That. You know I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah, well, oh yeah. my gosh, Kara! If I had a, a penny for every time oh, you penny. hadn't seen something, I would have a million pictures of me. You want to hear something hat. weird? <laughs> you want to hear something weird? You guys missed that whole. I missed it. I, I heard it. She said you'd have a thousand pictures of me. <laughs> pictures of me. Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Are you talk about you as a Lincoln. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was so stupid. <laughs> you'd have a thousand <laughs> pictures of me. <laughs> and <laughs> Eddie. It's really yeah, hot yeah. in here. Oh, man. Yeah, There's I'm quite warm as well. Hat. There's fumes. You want to hear something weird about Little Rascals? <laughs> sure. <laughs> like this podcast can go downhill anymore. God. <laughs> no, maybe I won't. I won't ruin it for you. Oh, gosh. Never Don't mind. ruin it for no, me. No, nothing like it. that. Nothing like that. Uh huh. The world's been ruined enough. Yeah. War. How haven't we seen Famine. that? Famine. Brother fighting brother. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing let me tell you yeah, nothing American civil American. about that war <laughs> nothing civil yeah it was pretty bad huh pretty bad i remember it was like it was yesterday dang well <laughs> i mean yeah i'm gonna switch to I sports for a hot after. second i know you guys don't care about sports I'm not particularly oh, no, yeah, let's but sports. let's hear about it who do you think is gonna win the world series i'll tell you who's, who's in, in the running yeah, you, did, who's you guys don't know who's diamondbacks the texas rangers and the houston astros the diamondbacks made oh it if the, the astros world win series? i'll die they're no the astros are down oh two right horrible. now in their series they're, they're the diamondbacks i think are they're cheaters also are down down yeah who's the fourth we got the uh, d-bags the d-bags the phillies phillies and d-bags and honestly I don't know if it's the and who was like, the other one? It's the, uh, the serpents, Texas Rangers, the Rangers, and the Houston Astros. Did you not listen to me? The how person the, who actually knows the sports. How are the serpents doing? The serpents are the losing. Serpents. Dang it! I kind of hope that the that they win because I don't want the Phillies to win just because they beat us. Who last do you want to win? I want the Arizona Diamondbacks to win. I want the Diamondbacks because my cousin is the manager. Oh, cool. so. I want the Phillies Rawr. to win because I like their mascot. The green guy? Which is who? Oh, are you talking about the greenie? Yeah. The beanie? Okay. Green guy. No, what's his name? Rover. The green meanie. Is, yeah, that's his name. The green meanie weenie. Grover. Oh, he's got a name. It's like Grover. Hello, everybody. I don't know. Yes, that. Let's see. Name of Philly mascot Philly's name. Mascot. It's like the green meanie. The Philly fanatic. The Philly fanatic. He's that's so it. He's so cutie. Look at him. I love yeah, him. He's ugly as hell. He's cutie. He's just in his own world. That's why. Sorry, you know who's ugly? The fryer. <laughs> the fryer's oh, yeah. pretty ugly. You t- you're talking about the Gossamer? I'm talking ugly. about my own papa. What's his name? Gossamer? Isn't it about time Mortimer? that we have separation of church and sports? Isn't it about time that we go to the moon <laughs> to beat the Russians from getting to the moon before us? Well, you know yeah. what's crazy, though? Go ahead. Is what else is going on, Annie? In your life. In my life or yeah. in the world? In pop culture. A little bit of both. The news? I like I like to Don't think ask her about pop both. Because she doesn't know anything about pop but culture. But I guess I guess they are separate. What give me my give me one <laughs> your world in pop culture. I guess they're separate. Uh give me 
one pop culture and then one Annie. Okay. Um, I know so much happening in pop culture. Okay. Give me one Annie. Well, What's going on in your life this well, week? Well, for pop culture references. Okay. Uh, okay. I, guys, you know me. Yep. I keep up with the Sister Wives. Oh, my God. That's Every what episode, do. you get a little dose of Sister Wife knowledge. You're welcome. This last episode, <laughs> there was a hint to maybe that they're dating someone. They're bringing um, in another one. No. <gasps> that was my prediction, wasn't it? No. I was your prediction. They're going to get a fifth before they lose no. the fourth. We'll see. We'll I, see what happens. No, but but that that is, that John, is, that doesn't mean check it's a fifth. the notes. No, no, I know what it says. Check the notes. But that you you were guessing that they'd get an additional wife. Yeah, he's already lost three, so that doesn't. No, but no I was saying is before he loses all, all four of them, he's, he's going to gain one. a new one. That definitely was my prediction. Okay, then you're probably right. I guess. But they alluded it to you're it, such so a we freaking don't know. fun sucker, bro. Mm. You are you're you're a fun <laughs> sucker. That's what it is. Awesome. Destroyed. Anyways, <sighs> what's going on in the life of Annie this life week? Life of Annie. <coughs> it is a wild one okay. down in these streets. It is a wild one. I bought a couch. Listen, Ooh. guys, adulting is so boring. So expensive well, too. So expensive. Not did super. my taxes. Bought Finally. A couch. Yeah. Hey, can you you First believe all, you did it down to the wire and then they extended the wire? Extended <laughs> the wire again. To November. That's funny. It's Rough. gonna be. I could pay my taxes for last year and next year, next year. Yeah, totally. It's ridiculous. This country is going to. Sh- All right, there we go. To the toilet, mm. but maybe it won't. Nice. If you self, vote for the uh, right people, I think that maybe the next presidential election we just have a cage fight. That's a year away. Can you believe it? Elon it's already October in, uh, of twenty-three. Elon and, uh, what's his name? We're gonna go uh, do a fight. Oh, Bezos. That's yeah. not gonna happen. <gasps> no, the no, Zuck. It was the Zuck. Zuck. Yeah. Elon and Zuck. Zuckerberg. Zuckie. Maybe like dropped out. I think Zuckerberg would probably kill Elon. No, Zuckerberg is a weirdo. Elon's he top also heavy. He also does like martial arts. You know that? Mm. You don't. That's what all the weirdo kids say. Okay. Uh. They're like, I don't taekwondo. I'm like, no, you don't. Annie, what year do you think it is right now? 2003. Brittany and <laughs> Justin are together. Oh God. Mm. Oh. Her memoir just came out. <sighs> Brutal. I gotta read that. Her memoir came out in this Everything in the in year of our Lord 2023. Tells me not to read it. Well, Kara brought this up. Kara, what did it say in it? That was me, actually. What? We'll let Kara have it though. Let I it rip, Kara. Kara said the, the baby thing. Kara, this is yeah. A, I read the, it off of Reddit, but go ahead. It Kara. came out that in her memoir, she talks about how Justin Timberlake got her pregnant <sighs> and they both decided on an abortion. No, she said he made her get an abortion. No. Is that said not it true? It was mutual. Oh, well, then great. But listen, Could you John imagine if that point. baby that had that like child? What, what year was that? 95, Probably 94? Like, yeah, 90 something. Oh, baby, baby. I don't know. So you think all those celebrities back then were just sleeping with each other? Absolutely. Um, yeah. certainly in the like and they were Teen Vogue cocaine. scene for sure. Wow, that's so rough. But I definitely like what if that say? baby had know. been born, superstar, superstar, Super, the world would be changed. It would be the Blue Ivy of the early 2000s. Of that generation. I don't think Blue Ivy is going to be that great hot take. I don't know that she's going to. Oh, you haven't seen her that. dancing on stage with Beyonce? I don't. I don't think she's got it. Oh, well, mm. disagree. Well, I mean, hot takes, add it to the, add it to the list. Yeah, the add other that piece, to John's hot takes. The other piece is that, you know, she's got, she is, her and her, like, five generations beyond her are, are paid for. Like, she, they, they oh, don't yeah. have to work. So that's the other thing is I don't think she's going to have, like, the drive well, to okay. want to make it. You know mm. what I'm saying? You know who I think I is the know. ultimate goat as it comes to everything? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Will Ferrell. Do you see him DJ his son's? He's yeah, yeah, his frat, frat party. Oh, was he that what it was? He showed up awesome. to his yeah. son's frat party. And oh. It was parents', it was parents the, weekend. He's so funny. So cool. And That's pretty showed funny. showed up to his, br- his son's frat party, DJed the frat party. The band and can do it all. Then somebody was interviewing him, the Will Ferrell's son, on a, on a podcast. And he's like, does he know what he's doing? And his son's like, yeah, <laughs> kind of. He knows how to press next. It was so funny on a console. I see him up there with his hat backwards, and he's got his headphones on. And he's just like, so he's like, like focused on awesome. the computer, like he's actually doing so it. Good. it so good. And then they were asking him, like, do you remember he presented at? I don't know if it was the Oscars or Emmys or something. It was like an award show, and he pretended like they had just come from soccer. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. so like his kids, good. He was like, sorry, Helen Mirren dropped out, and they called me, and you know, it's dad duty, whatever. 
And then his son like admitted he's like, no, we did go to soccer that morning, <laughs> and like in the car he asked us if we wanted to do this bit, and we're like, sure. <laughs> and we drove straight to the studio. Like that's, it was that's awesome. hilarious. His son, I like, loved. I guess I'll ask him. He was on Conan with like a a bird, like a big cockatiel oh, on his shoulder, yeah. and Conan's like, what do you got? That he's like, just before we start this interview, I'm not gonna talk about the bird. <laughs> And the whole time it's like making noises and Conan's like, okay, but why do you have it? He's like, I'm not talking about the bird. You see the, the one funny, one of the funniest interviews. He tends to come on and be like an animal specialist, like the late night animal that bring back. <laughs> and he brought like so a hamster good. and like, yes. And he's like, this is actually, it comes with some random name. He's like, this thing will tear her face off if you let it. He's so Dang. Good. It's so good. <laughs> it's so Love funny. It. He wow. married, um, didn't he marry somebody who was from a different country? Oh yeah. She's from Sweden. His wife. Wow. And they spend like the huh. summers in Sweden, I heard. With Good for them. Yeah. Sweden, honey. Does that make, is that why that he made sense. Eurovision? I was going to say. Yeah. That probably, that you guys seen sense. that Eurovision movie? I heard about it. It's so good. So good. It's so good. Rachel Eurovision. McAdams. We should watch it tonight. Maybe it's not scary, that. but. Well, it could mm. be scary if you hate Europeans. Just halfway through it, I'll just go, bah! <laughs> 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 And lose my headphones. The idea of you just a jump scare halfway through. Wow. To appeal to the scary movie audience, we're going to go ahead and watch a normal movie. And at any point in time, Ryan's going to stand up and pretend <laughs> to be possessed. <laughs> <laughs> and this we all have to pretend like it's real. Wow. Okay. okay. That sounds so good. Deal. Deal. Um, <laughs> folks, really how you got to look, movie. bro. We're rounding a corner. Yeah, yeah you right. like that? Yeah, yeah, you look kind of nice, huh? You look really you good. Look, you took your hat. I've got now like a Maddie like, Healy thing going on here now. Well, now you kind of, I was going to say a young Harrison Ford at an award show that he doesn't really care about. Thank you. That's really aggressive. Are you sure you want, oh. you want to stick with that? Yeah. I, Harrison Ford. I like to build up his ego so I can slowly chip at it for the rest of the week. He sounds a lot like Nick Cage, but he goes, what does he say? Get the hell off my plane. <laughs> no. Air Force One. Yeah. I saw the one where um, David Blaine went to his house to do magic, and he pulled his card out of a, like an orange that was in his like center, or like fruit bowl, and he pulls it out. He's like, "Get the hell out of my house! Get the hell out of my house!" <laughs> it's so good. Well, we're rounding a corner here, but yeah. uh, episode one fifty three in the books. One fifty two. Two. Well, if Pretty you guys sure are watching this, cool. you've made it this far. You might as well watch our twenty five hour twenty five hour podcast, November sixth. Oh. This fresh off the the presses here, we've got some giveaways. <gasps> a lot of giveaways. Any any donation you make towards our campaign of twenty five hundred dollars to Alzheimer San Diego, okay, you receive an entry to get one of a few giveaways. Okay, we've got a fifty dollar Nelson's gift card. Wow, Cha-ching. all right. We've got. Two $25 gift cards to Lola 55 Tacos. Nice. Downtown. $50 gift card to Monica Coffee. Ooh, cha-ching. We've got a gift card to Face by Maze. Face by Maze. Oh, yeah, they're flying in these days. We've even got, from our biggest sponsor on this show, Texas Roadhouse, a little gift basket. Uh, We're also probably going to give away, like, a ton of... You know, money. A ton of A ton of Andy Bucks. Andy Bucks. We're dripping in Andy Bucks. So that's the story. Watch us November 6th. What did you know? At 6 till November 7th at 7. Wow. Live on the internet. Be there or don't. We'll hate you either way. Very nice. You can't say hate as Abe Lincoln. Be there for the good of the union. Four score if eight, I seven could years save ago. the podcast, if I, Jimmy and Stewart, keep Ryan and no, I would. If I could save the oh. podcast and fire Ryan, I would. All I care about is saving the podcast. On the couch beautiful. as always, right Garrett Tavoya, Annie the Scopes Scopeman. I'm Ryan. I'm John. And we'll see you next week on What the Podcast. I had to make sure you guys did it. I had to make sure you guys did it. What the Podcast. We'll see. Stovepipe.